All right, welcome back. This is Ian here from TRS Team Real Salty. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and go over another deck that I have built. Uh, this one is um, just a new deck from the Primal Clash set. Uh, it is going to be Mega Agron. So um, this deck consists of the following we've got it's based pretty much around the mega agron it's a 3-3 line uh, mega agron has megaton slam that does 120 plus you may flip a coin if heads this attack does 120 more damage if tails this attack does 20 damage to each of your bench pokemon um so it's a pretty crazy attack if you get the heads it's going to be doing 240 um, and this is a 240 Pokemon, so it's it's a beefy Pokemon with a crazy beefy attack. Uh, the downside, though, it's a slight downside, but still a downside would be that if you get the Tails, it is 20 damage to each of your Pokemon on the bench. Uh, we try to negate that, though, by playing Victini uh, with Victory Star, the ability once during your turn after you flip any coins for any attack you may ignore all effects of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again you can't use more than one victory star ability each turn uh, so basically that's there just in case you get your tails um, you're gonna try to reflip and get heads for that 240 we also try to negate this by playing mountain ring uh, mountain ring it's Prevent all damage done to bench Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponent's. Uh, doesn't quite matter for the opponents because we're not doing any bench damage, so this is just for us. Now, you could try um, another stadium. I believe it's called Shrine of Memories. That stadium allows you to use the previous attacks from past evolutions. And um, I just opted for the Mountain Ring. Uh, just... This isn't in the deck, but just that for that reason, Shrine of Memories is that Agron has an attack. Raging Hammer, 60 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So just imagine that if you were Mega Agron with 240 HP and just had damage up the wazoo, you're going to be doing tons of damage. Um, and just talking about Agron here, since it's in the deck, we got Steel Headbutt. 50 plus, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more. Uh, and then the Raging Hammer is sort of your last ditch effort if you don't have the Mega Agron. Um, this deck is a little slow, so Agron's probably going to be up there. There's probably going to be one taking a sacrifice hit. Um, and then uh, there are other attackers. I've got Heatran as an attacker. Um kind of just dependent on what's happening this guy is going to kind of take care of your safeguards it's also going to take care of the 130 pokemon sad thing about mega agron is it only does 120 if tails is is what you flip and not heads which means playing against decks with don fan does 130 maybe 10 energy less so it's kind of um I don't know. I wouldn't say this is such a competitive deck. It's probably crazy fun if you get those crazy uh, damage hits. And then I do a 3-3 line of Bronzong, one Cabalion. This is there to get rid of special energies of the Pokemon. Also to take care of safeguards as well. Uh, your Jirachi, um, it's just to get a supporter. You could actually attack with it if you wanted to. Um, Hypno Strike, both this Pokemon and the defending Pokemon are now asleep for 60 you do not want to attack with this Pokemon. Uh, you're using it for the ability Stellar Guidance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench, you may search your deck for a support card, reveal it, and put it onto into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And then the Keldeo. And the Keldeo is there to sort of just um, rush in, put energy on your Mega Aggron or your Heatran with the Metal Link's ability that Bronzong plays and then uh, retreat either with the switch or your float stones. Um, and so let's just go with the rest of the trainers here. We've got one computer search, uh, two max potions, one startling megaphone. This is just to try to disrupt um, any of those other megas. Also, this is the ability deck. So we do need this just in case a Garbodor is being played that is not with a Seismitoad. If we're playing in Seismitoad, this is going to be useless, and we're just going to hope to crazy um, 
attack it with that Megaton Slam. And then I've got that one switch, four Ultra Balls, three VS Seekers, one Colrus, two Lissandre, four and one Birch, four Juniper, three Aragorn Spirit Links, the two Float Stones, four DCE, and eight Metal Energy. So, um, I guess no more uh, wasting time here. Let's see how this deck performs. Okay, let's go. Um, let's opponent gets the flip first, and it is tails, and I get to choose to go first, and I will because this is a long setup deck. Uh, it takes forever, so I don't know what we'll we'll start with the Bronzor. Um, yeah, it'll work. If we really need to use Keldeo, we will. We'll get the Victini and Keldeo out now. And... Alright. That's a bad start for them. They've got the Jirachi. No one wants to start with Jirachi. Downside of playing it, I guess. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of the Bronzong and a Metal... Or, sorry, the DC Energy. And let's get an Aggron going here. Uh, hopefully they do not play Enhanced Hammer, because I am going to go ahead and attach this DCE. So, there we go, and let's end. Oh, look at that. Um, going to do a Float Stone. Um, let's us get the... I kind of want... The, I don't know what they're playing yet. I think we're going to play it safe. Um... Let's see. Let's go ahead and rush in, and uh, we will we will sit here with this here. So let's go ahead and end the turn, and see what we are playing. I didn't pay attention to what those uh, what the K uh, the versus screen showed me. And again, we've got loading because of the update. Shadow Circle, Absol, and Darkrai. I have not seen Absol in a while. Still no Spirit Link from that end that the opponent played. Let's look at Absol again. I, it's been a very long... Last time I played with Absol was when I was doing Speed Lugia. So Mind Jack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent, uh, opponent, opponent's bench Pokemon. And then Fearsome Shadow, your opponent's reveals. Okay. I remember now. So he's setting up the Absol, getting it ready. And that's it. My turn. And no, um, no Mega Aggron. So let us do this here. I don't think we're going to need the Cabalion. Uh, so let's Ultra Ball that. Get Bronzong here. That way we can evolve and get. Four energy. This was an actually quick setup for Agron. I've already got the four energy I need. Now we just need that spirit link. Um, so I kind of want to go ahead and just Juniper. Um, I don't have Juniper though, so I think we're going to go ahead and Stellar Guidance. So yes, I will use Stellar Guidance and I will get a Juniper. There we go. And Juniper, get rid of that mess. Yes! No! That's ugly! <laughs> um, let's go ahead and attack. I don't... Can we do enough? Nope. Uh, we can do 80. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, retreat. And... You know what? We're going to do Raging Hammer. Uh, just do the sure thing there. No point, really. So are they going to sacrifice their Jirachi? Do they have a switch? Do they have a dark energy and energy switch? Megaphone? Alright. Um, that's not too big of a deal. Mm. Alright, I'm assuming they're going to sacrifice here. Unless they're going to play N. I would love it if they play N. So thank you, because I was going to do Chorus. And there we go, look at that, Spirit Link and our Mega Agron. So that is just going to be brutal. If only I had 
Oh, yeah! I was going to say, if only I had Lissandre. Um, but we get one better. We actually get um, a computer search. I will take that. All right. So I'm happy. Uh, let us go ahead here. Uh, get rid of the Bronzor and the other energy. Never hurts to have energy in the discard. I don't have an attacker though, so I uh, can't. Don't really know what to use with the Metal Links. I don't. Guess I don't really need to. But let's get rid of that Absol. Uh, it is a hundred, so I don't. Oh, oh, and it is a game pass. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna play another game here. So bear with me. I'm gonna get another game started. Uh, we didn't actually get to. Now that was an awesome setup for Agron, by the way. That doesn't usually happen. But um, let's go ahead and try to find another game. Um, this one went a little too short and didn't actually ever get to attack. So let's try again. All right, I am back, and we are playing a fairy deck. Hopefully they do not um, concede with this one here, because uh, it would be very reminiscent of my Gardevoir uh, deck analysis that I did. I had so many people quit on me. It took me basically all day to get that video. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the struggle <laughs> and... Uh, show you what happens here. I'm not going to edit any of that, that other match out just to see if we can actually get something going here. So I'm going to play N. They actually get a good start for themselves. And I don't get a good start at all. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the Cabalion here because I do want to attack and retreat and then we're going to end our turn. So Righteous Edge is usually just doing 30 uh, it will be doing 60, so it's going to be a little heavier hit. I don't play um, Muscle Band here, so there is uh, no need for... Uh, I just don't need it, because um, the Aggron does a ton of damage. Let's go ahead and Juniper. Get some energy in the discard. The DCE hurts, but look at that. That's a nice hand. Uh, Spirit Link. Energy... And I'm gonna go ahead and attack. So yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that's fine too. I can see how that works. That was a lot of energy they just discarded though. And they got a Florgis. Alright, muscle band. Let's see what they already Geoman seed, so they have. Now, I, we just did a Gardevoir deck, so I gotta remember six energy cards, and the Pokemon is. I mean, Gardevoir is gonna be doing 180. Um, so, let us evolve. And. Um, let's computer search here. I think. I think I want a computer search for, um, let's make sure that I have a Juniper, I do, so I can VS Seeker, let's get, hmm, I can do a DC and risk getting a Bronzong, or I can do a Bronzong and risk getting a DCE. If not, maybe I just get one energy, I'm going to go ahead and take that risk, it's not really a risk. Let's do the Bronzong. And VS Seeker. Alright, we get another Agron. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And we get... Now, I don't really feel... Because I want space for the Victini and the Keldeo. So, I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and put the energy here. Let us Metal Links. I was going to put the Bronze Ore down, but... Uh, We'll save the, the bench space there and Righteous Edge again. I'm okay with them knocking out my Cabalion. I wouldn't be okay with them knocking out my Mega Aggron. Uh, but let us let us proceed. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and Spirit Link. 
Uh, one, two, three, four. I am going to switch. And oh, come on! <laughs> it's like as soon as it's it's soon as that Mega Agron shows up. I don't even have enough energy. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So that is another struggle. I don't think I want to do another one here. Um, but um, well. I don't know. I don't know how long this video has gone. Let's go ahead and try another one. Um, see what happens. Alright. Uh, one more game. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, that was two conceded games. Um, another flip. Oh, they actually picked tails this time. Oh, that was me flipping. Uh, let's see here. So I, It's a decent start. I've got Agron, Victini, I'm okay with that. Get the Spirit Link. Got a Spritzy, so we're going to be playing a Tool Toolbox Fairy deck, I'm assuming. See a Keldeo. Maybe that means there's a Dark Rye, or and they do play Fairy Garden, so I could see that as well. A Seismitoad. Well, if we get the Spirit Link here. No! <laughs> I was going to say, it wouldn't really matter if you get the Spirit Link on. Um, but that didn't happen. So I think... There we go. There's a Spirit Link. Let us... Do this here. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball for the... Keldeo, please do not be prized, Keldeo. It looks like it's prized. Oh no, it's the last one. Okay, so Keldeo, Floatstone, and let us end. Okay, that's not great, but I'll take it. Um, put the energy down. Let's go ahead and get rid of these items since we probably won't be using them. I want to get my Bronzor out. And like I said in the deck analysis portion of it, uh, we can use Agrons to basically wall for a bit here, especially since I've got that um, that Floatstone on my Keldeo. I'm going to end turn. I should play. You know what? I will play it. Uh, if they're going to Scrapper me, there's not much I can do if Toad's in play. So let's go ahead and put the float stone on the bronze ore. Alright, so another hypnotoxic laser and we've got two rainbow energy on the opponent's end, which I assume they would be wanting a fairy garden. Uh, they're probably going to computer search for a fairy garden or a supporter unless that's one there. Um, what is it? Juniper. Okay. You know, well, I probably would have computer searched for the, um, oh, they've got the Dark Rai. I was going to say, I probably would have computer searched for Fairy Garden and uh, just Xerosic'd the tool off of my Agron because that would be pretty brutal for me. Uh, so let's Colrus. There we go. That's beautiful. I don't think... Do I have? Because that would be really awesome. I do. So we get to finally see what the Megaton Slam can do. Um, let's go ahead and evolve. And rush in retreat. And let's see if it works. This might be the first attack I get. And yes, we do want to flip. It does not work. Yes, I want to reflip. And it works. 240 damage. Seismitoad and all the energy is gone with it. And they start from scratch. And I have a very beefy Agron, Mega Agron. There's another Seismitoad. Uh, 
another laser. So that is their third laser. Via Seeker from us. Yep, Juniper. Let's hope they don't play hammers. Furbank. All right, I'm happy with that. Um, let's go ahead and do this here. Uh, what do we have? What's Colrus? Hmm. Go ahead and Colrus. All right. So I'm not upset about that. We can computer search. Uh, let's go ahead and max potion. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Get that aggron going too. Rush in. Retreat. And we're going to do another Megaton Slam. Yes, we want to flip. Uh, that is a Tails. Let us try again. Oh, that's a Heads. 240. Brutal. All right. We are sitting very pretty. That's a weird... Weird Seismitoad Toolbox Fairy Deck. I don't know what that is. Usually Seismitoad would be uh, paired with Slurpuff. Alright, we've got the Malamar as well. The fact that we got the Keldeo at the Floatstone before they got to actually do anything would uh, is very helpful here. Now I'm sure he's going to hate the fact when he sees that I've got the Mega Aggron. And that is another concede. This one was a little more um, in favor of us. I actually got to attack a few times. So I think I'm going to just call it quits here. That's three conceded games. Shows you how beefy of attacker Mega Aggron is if it works. Um, I don't have any complaints with the way these three games went. They were pretty favorable. Um, anyway, so that's the Mega Aggron deck. Um, feel free to comment and let me know what changes you made, what you feel could be done to this deck here. Um, and that's it. Uh, it's Ian here from TRS Team Real Salty. Thanks for watching. Bye.